Hello, my friends, and I hope you're having an awesome Lord's Day today. Um, guys, today we are in the Easter season. We have been celebrating the resurrection of Jesus for six weeks now, um, and we've just been rejoicing in the miracles that Jesus has been doing, the way he appears to so many people along the way and reveals himself as resurrected and conquering the tomb. Today's gospel reading um, comes to us from John chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. I'm going to read this for you, and then we're going to break it open for today's gospel. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if I do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I've called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give to you. This I command you, to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, I don't know if you paid attention to how many times Jesus used the word love in this one little scripture passage, but it was tremendous. Um, of how he calls us to love and to abide in his love and to always remain in his love. Um, I want to back up just a little bit to put this scripture in context. If you back up to the beginning of chapter 15, this is the famous parable where Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches, right? If the branch uh, remains on the vine, it's going to bear much fruit. And if it is cut off of the vine, it's not going to bear any fruit, right? And so we got this little plant right here to show you an example. So as long as this plant um, is connected to the very stem, the roots right here, then it's going to be fine. But if you take this and you prune it off and you cut it off, well, this little part of the plant is going to die. Like, poor little buddy. It, it's just going to die because it's not connected anymore, right? And so Jesus is telling us that we're like this, right? He's the vine, and we are the branches. As long as we stay connected to Him, then we're going to be fine, and we'll be able to produce much fruit. But this poor little branch isn't going to produce any fruit because it's not connected to the vine, right? So we want this little plant to abide, to stay on the vine, so it produces good fruit. Jesus says that, and then He goes right into the first sentence of today's gospel, and I hope that makes it understandable for you. He says, as the Father loves me, so I love you. Abide in my love. <laughs> Friends, we could, we could look and pray with just that sentence forever for the rest of our life, right? If we ever doubt the way that Jesus loves us, if we ever hear in our minds, oh, the Lord doesn't love you. Look at the life you've had. Look at your past. You've gone through so many difficult things. The Lord possibly, couldn't possibly love you, right? That I'm unlovable. Like, that's just a lie from the pits of hell. Don't believe that. Turn to the scriptures. Whenever you start to get those thoughts in your mind that maybe God doesn't love me because I'm going through a difficult time, just turn to the scriptures. The scriptures are truth. They are sharper than a two-edged sword. They would divide bone and marrow, right? Truth and lies. What does Jesus say about how much he loves you? As the Father loves me, so I love you. How does the Father love Jesus? Now think about that for a second. The Father, from all of eternity, was always loving Jesus. He was always making a gift of himself to Jesus. And Jesus, from all of eternity, was receiving from the Father all of his love and in, was returning that love to the Father. So there was this constant exchange of love between the Father and the Son, and the Father held nothing back from the Son. He revealed everything to the Son. He gave everything He had to the Son, and the Son receives it and returns it all to the Father. And then what spirates out of that, the church says, is the Holy Spirit. It's the love between the Father and the Son. 
So as the Father loves Jesus, that's how much he loves you. It's incredible, it's unconditional. He holds nothing back from you or from me. He gives everything to us. So he says, as the Father loves me, so I love you. Abide in my love, stay right there, don't leave. See, whenever we get shaky and we think that God doesn't love us, it's because I've removed myself. I've gotten away from him. I've chosen other things to steal my affection. But the desire of the heart of Jesus is that we stay, we abide in his love, like the little branch, stay connected to the vine. And when you do that, you will bear much fruit. One of those fruits, and so wait, wait, how do we abide? Jesus says right there, keep my commandments. Just follow the big 10. It's not that difficult, right? Don't kill people, don't commit adultery, keep holy the Sabbath day, go to mass every Sunday, these are the things that keep us inside his love. Abide right there. Don't leave. Why? He says, these things I've spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and your joy may be complete. And friends, isn't that what we want? Everybody wants joy. We're all looking to have joy and peace and happiness. We just got to be careful where we try to find it, right? If we want authentic joy, I mean, real joy, authentic joy, it's found in Christ, by living in Christ, by staying right in his love. That's when we will have joy. That's when we will have peace. So that's what Jesus wants for us. Uh, it's clear in the scriptures. His word does not lie. And so we want to remain in his love, uh, and we want to remain in his joy that he gives to us. And it's a complete joy, full, not just a little bit of joy, but absolutely complete. We could go on and on with this, but Jesus goes on in verse 16. He says, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. What a great thing. Today, people just sometimes feel rejected. Nobody chooses me. Nobody wants me. Nobody loves me. I'm not the apple of anybody's eye. I'm not the one that everybody calls when they want to have a good time. Um, but Jesus has chosen you. He has appointed you to go out and bear fruit. Um, and so this is the great, um, the great uh, victory, the great call that we have, um, is to go out and bear fruit. We have to bear fruit. We can't just sit as Christians in our house and pretend like life is fine and dandy. We, by the nature of how grace works, we receive the love of God and we have to give love to other people. So go out this week. Go out and spread God's love. Bring joy to somebody that you know might be feeling down a little bit. Don't let this Sunday just pass by without you abiding in his love um, and bring in that love to your neighbor um, so that your joy will be complete and his joy may be complete as well. So you have a blessed Sunday. God bless you.